Hello, with all the regal splendor, we warmly welcome you to the Royal Family News Channel. Now, let's get to the video. After a tumultuous 2023, it seems unlikely that Harry and Meghan will suddenly bounce back in 2024. They are likely still dealing with the aftermath of the numerous bombshells from the previous year. Now, let's delve into the current uproar among the sugars. A comedian named Simon Brodkin recently posted a stand-up comedy video where he humorously criticized Harry and Meghan. He went on to express that, given everything he has observed from the couple, he finds himself supporting Prince Andrew more than them. Brodkin remarked, honestly, by the time Harry was describing a particular date with Meghan as the night they pulled the pin on a fun grenade, I actually started rooting for Prince Andrew. Understandably, Meghan's fans are displeased with this characterization. One sugar, Judy from Richmond, mentioned that the criticism they receive is leading to death threats against Meghan. She questioned why, out of all the people in the world, Brodkin chose to make cheap jokes about Harry and Meghan. Another user, Big Uppity, chimed in, stating, I don't even get the jokes. All I know is to put Andrew in the same sentence as Harry and Meghan is cheap. As we approach 2024, it appears that Harry and Meghan's fans remain as passionate and fervent as ever. The humor in the situation is not lost on some, including myself. I've never been a staunch supporter of Prince Andrew either, his questionable behavior has been a concern, although nothing illegal has been proven. However, when comparing him to Harry and Meghan, the choice becomes challenging given the controversies surrounding the latter couple. Now, let's address the peculiar phrase pulling the pin on the fun grenade. Frankly, it sounds like something a middle school teacher might say, only to be mocked by her students. While this may not be the primary focus of the discussion, it's worth sharing because of its amusing nature. Comedians and comedy shows have indeed had a field day lampooning Harry and Meghan throughout the year, given the ample material available. The jokes practically write themselves. Looking ahead to 2024, the question arises, will Harry and Meghan manage to turn things around? Will they transform into such respectable and relevant figures that comedians cease mocking them? Or are we in for more of the same? While my stance may be evident, let's consider the insights of another expert on this matter. Russell Myers, the royal editor for the Daily Mirror, shared his thoughts on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's future in an interview with Sky News Australia. According to Myers, 2023 was not a favorable year for the couple. Certainly, it's evident that Russell Myers is not mincing words when he describes the situation with Harry and Meghan as an absolute bonfire. This characterization highlights the significant damage not only to their reputations but also to their relationships within the royal family. It's hard to fathom how they could perceive this year as anything other than a disaster. Behind closed doors, they might be patting each other on the back, reveling in the attention they received. Meghan, in particular, seems content with publicity, whether positive or negative, as long as it keeps her in the headlines. On the other hand, Harry, being a prince, may take himself more seriously and might not appreciate being a subject of jokes. There's a sense that he values his privacy, which could be a challenging balance to maintain when partnered with someone like Meghan, who seems eager for media attention. While both contribute to their public image, there's a belief that Meghan is more desperate for media attention, and Harry might have a different perspective on privacy if not for his marriage to her. The question of why Harry remains with Meghan, despite these challenges, remains unanswered. It's also acknowledged that there could be nuances in their motivations and desires for media attention. It appears that Russell Myers shares the sentiment that Harry may be more sensitive than Meghan when it comes to public perception. Myers expresses skepticism about Meghan's claim of having big, exciting things in the works for 2024. He, like many, is adopting a wait-and-see approach because, as of now, there is little evidence to support the notion of significant and thrilling developments on the horizon. Myers also seems to dismiss reports of an imminent reconciliation between Harry and Meghan with the royal family, deeming them as absolute BS. Given the magnitude of the fallout caused by Harry's memoir, Spare, Myers notes that Harry is still grappling with the repercussions, 
particularly in his strained relationships with his father and brother. The journalist highlights the paradox in Harry's approach, the idea that one can openly criticize and damage the reputation of their family and then expect to be embraced and forgiven. The notion that actions have consequences is underscored, emphasizing that demolishing family reputation comes with lasting effects. It's a reminder that repairing relationships may not be as straightforward as Harry might have hoped. Russell Myers highlights a critical perspective, emphasizing that while Harry's mental health challenges may be known to his family, it doesn't excuse the manner in which he chose to express and reveal personal issues. Myers suggests that such matters should ideally be addressed in a therapist's office rather than laid bare in a book. The journalist further notes that nobody was spared from the criticisms in Harry's memoir, and he anticipates potential repercussions from this in the coming years. Expressing agreement, you emphasize the cruelty in Harry's attacks, not only targeting Camilla and his father, King Charles, but also involving his brother and sister-in-law, along with the revelation of family secrets. The inappropriate nature of divulging such private matters is underscored. As for the possibility of reconciliation, Myers wisely refrains from making a prediction, recognizing the complexity of the situation. While there are reports from a psychic suggesting a potential reconciliation with King Charles, Myers acknowledges that success for Harry and Meghan may hinge on such a reconciliation. However, he also acknowledges the alternative possibility that they may continue to face challenges and become increasingly irrelevant if reconciliation doesn't occur. The intricacies of family dynamics and personal relationships make predictions uncertain, and Myers wisely refrains from making absolute forecasts. Your skepticism regarding Meghan's announcement of exciting series of future projects in 2024 is understandable. Meghan's statement about creating things that make people feel something and foster a sense of community does sound somewhat vague and open to interpretation. Your perception of it as word salad and a potential diversion when lacking concrete plans is a valid perspective. Your suggestion that Megan might be contemplating something akin to an online platform or lifestyle blog, similar to Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop, aligns with the idea that she may be envisioning a project that reflects her interests and lifestyle. However, the skepticism arises from the concern that such a venture might be more about self-promotion than genuinely creating a community. As with any public figure, there can be a challenge in discerning between genuine intentions and promotional strategies. Time will tell what Meghan and Harry's future projects truly entail and whether they align with the ambitious vision Meghan has presented. Until then, your cautious approach and scrutiny of such announcements are certainly reasonable. It seems there are differing opinions on how Meghan could potentially improve her public image, and Lynn Carrot's suggestion to talk more about her relationship with her father, Thomas Markle, does bring an interesting perspective. However, your skepticism is valid, especially considering the complicated history between Meghan and her father. Meghan and Thomas Markle's relationship has been marred by public incidents, including the photo shoot you mentioned. The disagreement over the photo shoot and subsequent fallout played a significant role in the strained relationship between father and daughter. The perception of who initiated the photo shoot remains a point of contention, with some suggesting it was Megan's idea as a pretext to sever ties due to embarrassment. Given the complexities of their personal history, any attempt by Megan to discuss her relationship with her father would likely be met with scrutiny and skepticism. It's a delicate situation, and while discussing personal aspects of her life might provide context, it's uncertain how much it would contribute to turning public opinion in her favor. In the end, the challenge lies in navigating personal narratives that have been widely discussed in the media and attempting to reshape public perceptions amidst existing controversies. Your perspective on Harry and Meghan's situation is clear, emphasizing the importance of them refraining from going after the royal family, being truthful, and presenting an accurate portrayal of themselves. Your hope is for them to abandon any attempts to manipulate their public image with puff pieces and address concerns surrounding the status of their children. Your conditional acceptance of their endeavors outside of these issues reflects a desire for a change in behavior rather than a complete dismissal of their pursuits. The concern, however, 
lies in whether they can resist engaging in controversial actions and if their lives might take a more tumultuous turn. It's a nuanced and cautious outlook, acknowledging the potential for positive change but expressing skepticism based on past behaviors. The unpredictability of public figures and their choices makes it challenging to determine the trajectory of their actions. As you've indicated, time will tell whether Harry and Meghan can alter their approach and whether the public perception will evolve accordingly. That's it for the video. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and share with those interested. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. Thanks for joining us, have a great day, and stay tuned for upcoming videos.